Hello, my name is Rita Horner. I'm the Technical Marketing Manager for the Mixed Signal IP Group. And I'm John Stonick, a Synopsys Fellow with the Solutions Group. John, many of our customers across different markets are moving to use higher speed FIs. And they're asking if our 8 gig or even 12 gig FI can support spread spectrum clocking. What is SSC? Well, Rita, first, our customers will be happy to hear that our high speed 30s IP fully supports spread spectrum clocking. Now, what is SSC? Spread spectrum clocking is the slow modulation of the frequency of the clock to spread its energy out over a wider spectral band. To help understand how that works, I've put together an example. In this example, we're looking at a clock that would normally be at 3 gigahertz. But what we do is slowly change the frequency of that clock with respect to time over a range from 3 gigahertz down to 2.985 gigahertz and then back up to 3 gigahertz again. So there's a spreading from 3 gigahertz down to 2.985 and back up again over a period of about 33 microseconds. Those are pretty typical values for standards-based SSC systems. The example that I put together here shows a triangular profile. While that is the most common profile, it's not the only one that's allowed. There is an additional restriction of the slew rate of that profile should not exceed 1250 ppm per microsecond. So I can see what SSC is, but why would customers want to use it? The reason that people use SSC in a system is to reduce EMI. In this example, we can see the spectra of two clocks, one that is spread and one that is not spread. The spread clock has a very narrow spectrum that's high in amplitude, and that represents a very strong RF interferer to neighboring systems. By spreading the clock, we occupy a wider frequency band with that clock, but the energy at any individual frequency is lowered. Typically, standards try to achieve at least 10 dB of spectral reduction by spreading the clock. So would this require that um, FIs input reference clocks to be spread? For many FIs, that would be the case, but Synopsys has a very flexible SSC generator built into our IP. Oh, that's great. Does uh, SSC place additional burden on the FI? There is some additional burden placed on the clock and data recovery in the receiver, but Synopsys's clock and data recovery has been optimized to deal with spread spectrum clocking. Thanks, John. This was great information. I'm sure our customers will be happy to know that our high-speed 30s FI supports spread spectrum clocking to reduce EMI and effectively their total system cost. Thank you.